Hallelujah. Welcome to Morning Glow. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, we give glory, honor, and adoration to your name. Awesome God. Great, great God. Our healer, our joy. Our salvation, our peace. Touch your people today. Deliver. Set free. Impact your people this morning. We thank you. We praise you. You will exceed our prayer. Burdens will be lifted today. Miracles will happen today. Miracles will happen today. Miracles will happen today. Miracles will happen today. To the glory of your name. In Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are. You have joined us this morning. I'd like to welcome you to Morning Glow. Trust in the Lord that you will be blessed. You will be favored in the name of Jesus. And the hand of the Lord will minister to you. Powerfully. Gloriously. In the name of the Lord. Wherever, wherever, get ready to be blessed of the Lord, get ready for impact, get ready for the hand of the Lord to be stretched in your life today. We would like to welcome you from wherever you've joined. It's such a joy to have you on the platform. And as we mention where you are and pray for you, I believe that God honors such confession ministers to you in Jesus name. Amen. Queens in New York, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. These are one of our regulars who have always been on this platform. The Lord bless you richly. Bromley in Kent, blessings. Merseyside, Liverpool, blessings. Logier in France, blessings. Germany, blessings in the name of Jesus. Edmonton in North London, blessings. Custom House, East London, blessings. Braintree, Essex, blessings. Walton Stowe, Chatham, God bless richly. Pleasanton, California, the Lord bless you richly this morning. New Cross Gates, that is Southeast London, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Tombridge Wells, be blessed and I favor this morning. Palmer's Green, the Lord bless you richly. Praise the Lord, KRCC Champs Ford. Blessings, blessings, Petswood, Kent, Stanwell, Thames, Mafolu, Oku, Osho, Di, Nigeria, Chelmsford again, God bless you, Camberwell, be blessed, Harike, Kodaba, Tede, Dabara, Takaza, Stanwell, Thames, Magboro, Nigeria, Walton Cross, the Lord bless you richly, Brixton Hill, Blessings, 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 blessings. Oswestry, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hackney, East London, be blessed, highly favored. Mayero Kaya da da da. E da da da. E da ba 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 ba. Koso Kaye Barota Ne Kaye da Boza. Ne Ka Rose Ka Boso. Wadaloop. Hey, they say, when are you coming to Wadaloop? All right, why not? Maybe one of these days I might just be there. Because my son is there, Jan. Jan, what's his Jan's surname now? That's ICC. I'd love to do a Caribbean tour. It'll be something else. Do like one day each. Guadeloupe. Jan is one of my sons in ministry from ICC. Ah, Bangladesh. God bless you. Belgium. Be blessed and highly favored this morning. Yes. Uh, Mafunda, that's his surname. Yes. Hey, somebody knows who I'm talking about. The Lord bless you richly this morning. Make a back Oh, yeah. Vauxhall in London. Be blessed and uh, highly favored in the name of Jesus. Yan Mafunda. Yes. Blessings. Very good guy. Known him from when he was like a young adult. Very, very focused son to my son. <laughs> so it's more like my grandson. Praise God. The Gambia, be blessed and highly favored. Charleroi. Charleroi in Belgium. 
Dieu vous bénisse. Cool then and sorry. Be blessed and highly favored this morning. Cape Town, South Africa, Saubona Kundani. Praise the Lord. God bless you this morning. Vundok Namibia. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed this morning. Ikayeto Koronalish. Nairobi, Kenya. Blessings in Jesus' name. Kwabenya in Accra. God bless you. I'd like to welcome you, Camden Town, Northwest London. God bless you, NW1. All right, Camden is NW1. I didn't remember that. Okay. We start, started pastoring in N1. 100 Ballspoon Road, N1. The road between Hackney and, and uh, I think, uh, think uh, what is the name of that area and we're there now in one area Sweden the Lord bless you this morning richly blessings blessings Kayedosh Hirosa Kayitali Karaba Borosa Hiraba Bokayaraba Libro Kosayara Harari Zimbabwe Hiriroso Kayeri Rosi Kita Bakarara Rikurur de Kiki Kuru Toran de Retoran Tilero Tadadada Ebo Kosi Kaye Tedere E Robos Kier and Derere Landoro Sikere Kenton Telerida In the name of Jesus In the mighty name of Jesus Somebody is going to be blessed this morning Somebody is going to experience the grace of the Lord Home Church in Essex Blessings Oka Anambra, Nigeria. Blessings. Be blessed. Be blessed. Jesus' name. Hale Kayebo. Shandari Riba. Kari Roroshi. Liverpool. The Lord bless you richly. Maidstone Ken. Blessings in Jesus' name. KRCC Maryland. The Lord bless you richly, 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 richly. Camberwell. Be blessed and highly favored. Kaino Taneko Marish Tayi Kabaso Tobekton in East London. Be blessed and highly favored. Bedfordshire. The Lord bless you richly. Naleshe ko taida da branozo. Keasizi kuje abuja. The Lord bless you richly. I'm trying to remember the name of the pastor there. Very nice guy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Na ye barom barenge re. In the name of Jesus, KCC Istanbul. Yeah, one day shall be in Jesus' name. Durban, South Africa, be blessed, highly favored this morning. Habalo Shikayeda, Bangalore in India, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Kayeda di da 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 doro son kabarita. Ro kayeba kayeto kapara. He kababa rundarita ledevo koto yaraba. Ye rote la mando rose yinderita. Jesus name 37 in Accra that is uh, the hospital military hospital the Lord bless you richly this morning be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed be highly favored in the name of Jesus, somebody will be blessed this morning. Uh, <coughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mayeko, zombro tekaya, ebo kayada, rekoto kabakazaya, yeba roka, na lebo. Uh, Houston, Texas, be blessed and highly favored. I'm going to be in Houston, Texas, part of my American trip. I believe God to be a blessing to people, people in Houston. It's actually my first point from Friday to Sunday, July 8 to 10 in Dominion. Uh, it's going to be a powerful one. Dominion International Conference, DIC. DIC. Kapo ko zomba ye kaba rotali makado zomba likele ronati lembro noza kita libra nota lirena 
Jano Kabakari Koto Breke Kosonya. This morning, let somebody begin to receive healing. Let somebody begin to receive favor. Let somebody begin to receive testimony. Let somebody begin to walk in the super supernatural of our God. Let somebody begin to experience the dimension of grace like they have never known before. The dimension of favor like they have never known before. Let somebody begin to be set free. Let yokes be destroyed let burdens be removed let glory be revealed let testimony flow we magnify him. Coventry, God bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. We'd like to take this time to welcome all those who are joining us from the four corners of the earth. From the four corners of the earth, we celebrate, we welcome you. Those who are joining us from the east end of the world, Australia. God bless you richly. Southwest Australia, uh, Tasmania, Sydney, Melbourne, and many other cities in that part of the world. Be blessed and highly favored. Those who are joining us from still the east end of the world, that is uh, the, middle, uh, the Middle East. God bless you richly. Uh, Saudi Arabia. United Arab Emirates, Sharjah, Fujairah, uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, be blessed and highly favored. Those who are joining us from um, the West End, oh, oh no, before the West End of the world, we welcome Singapore, we welcome India, we welcome uh, Malaysia, we welcome Bangladesh, we welcome the Philippines, God bless you richly this morning in the name of Jesus. Those who are joining us from the west end of the world, the Lord bless you richly. From the Netherlands and Teals, welcome Curacao. Suriname, St. Martin, from the French, Caribbean, blessings. Uh, Guadeloupe, the Lord bless you this morning. Haiti, the Lord bless you richly this morning. We speak blessings into the life of all those who are joining us from the United States of America, from, the, from California, then to the East End in New York, in Atlanta, in Florida. May you be blessed. May you be favored. May you be lifted in the name of Jesus. We speak blessing to the love of all those joining us from Canada. May you be highly favored in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. We celebrate, we welcome those who are joining us from the whole of Europe. May you be blessed. May you be favored. United Kingdom, Germany, France, Sweden, Switzerland, mm -hmm. Belgium. May you be highly favored. Ireland, Scotland. God bless you richly. We pray blessings on all those joining from Africa, from Mauritius to South Africa, to Zimbabwe, to Malawi, to Namibia, to Zambia. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Kenya, blessings. Congo, blessings. Uganda, blessings. We speak blessing on all those joining in the West African area. God bless you richly. Nigeria, Ghana. May you be highly favored. Makadi do shikaye te kadada kare to kosoka. Reko tolo ma shetaye kaye ke kozo karaba. 
Reko keko ka ka teko reko so te ye kaba. Endro ke ta le bare to so ka re to le bare. May today be a refreshing day upon your life. May today be a refreshing day in your life. May today be a refreshing day in your life. Hako zompa ye da. Gandolon zandile bandero tandele mangara tongarele rokati kabakare karaba zokaya neko sete dali barona ti kalem baron tolon sete yatanda lungo tabebi shtaya leba kundere ba tere da 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 se tala da 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 tala da 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 tore talere kambero toro da. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the holy name of Jesus. We'd like to welcome everyone this morning. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed, you'll be highly favored. The power of God will be stretched in your life. Somebody, wherever you are, the anointing will so touch you, so heal you, so heal, so set you free, that you will have a mighty testimony and a power for glorifying of our God. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against you prospers. Every mouth <coughs> that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. This is your heritage as a child of God. Ye ka bro ko so yara. E ko raba mozi. Ka ye ke ko ka ka talirosha. Kera doza. Re ka da 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 do. Roki pito rama de lojia. In the name of Jesus. If you are just joining us this morning, yesterday and some other times, we have been praying divine intervention. And from there, we moved into praying for the glory of God to manifest in our lives. This morning, we want to continue. Uh, want to continue <clears throat> to pray divine intervention but we still want to pray the glory of the Lord to come into your life the glory of the Lord to manifest in your life the glory of the Lord to touch you to deliver you to set you free to do awesome wonders in your life in the mighty name of Jesus when you carry glory something happens when you carry glory the enemy is put to shame when you carry glory the power of God is revealed when you carry the glory of God healings happen when you carry the glory of God blessings flow when you carry the glory of the Lord there is a deliverance there is a favor there is a mightiness that rests upon your life glory of God Shekinah in one Hebrew word Mikhail in another Hebrew word or Kabod in another Hebrew word means the power of God the presence of God the glory of God, the grace of God, the hand of God. And this morning, somebody's going to carry glory. Someone is going to carry the presence of God. Somebody's going to experience it. So if God is going to intervene and his glory comes, then you have everything you need. And the Bible says the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. <laughs> When the glory of the Lord rises upon you, something has to happen. The word glory isn't just a feeling or an event or an Old Testament experience. Glory is a spiritual experience, just like the wave of the sea. It contains the char character of God. And, it, and, and the word kayil or chabod actually means heavy weight. When God puts his heavy weight of presence on your life. We began to pray about your own glory being restored. But we are going to combine it. When God's glory comes, your glory will be restored. How do you experience the glory of the Lord? Number one, you must look for it. Look to experience the glory of God. The Bible says in Acts 7, Verse 55, but he being full of the Holy Spirit gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God. He saw the Kayil. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. If you are not expecting glory, then you won't receive it. If you are not expecting his presence, you will not receive it. The God of the glory of God is 
visible power in the Old Testament. The glory of God appeared. You see, when they traveled and the cloud appeared, it was the cloud of glory. When they traveled and a pillar appeared, it is the glory of God. Uh, so they had, and sometimes it came as smoke. It's, it's glory. This visible power is also known as Shekinah, which is the Hebrew word to tell us of his presence. Whenever his presence came upon the temple they built, they would say the Shekinah of God came upon the place. The prophet Habakkuk got a glimpse of the glory of the Lord, the fiery glory of the Lord. And it was said that God's brightness was as the noonday sun, as light. And he said it, and he had fire coming out of his hands, and there was the, and there was the hiding of his power. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 4. So this same glory is what God now puts in your life. But somehow somebody wants to suppress it. Situations wants to suppress it. Challenges want to suppress the glory of the Lord in your life. Whereas as a carrier of glory, you should enter places and things begin to happen. Favor should look for you. Connections, open doors. You should go to places and everyone wants to help you. People want to put blessing in your hand. The second way to tap into the glory of the Lord is to pray for that glory. Pray for it. Romans 8 verse 18. <clears throat> for I consider the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. <laughs> so how do you pray for the glory? You pray that the glory will be revealed to you and in you. So that when you carry the glory, sickness can't stop it. Satan can't stop it. The bad name your mom called you, like Jabez, will not be able to stop it. The attitude of people to you will not be able to stop it. The condition you were born in, like Bartimaeus, will not be able to stop it. You'll be a carrier of the presence of God and you become a carrier of the glory of God. Lastly, this morning, one of the ways to have the glory in your life is to prepare for it. So, remember what we said. Firstly, you look for it. Father, I look for your glory. I look for your presence. I look for your power. For when you are present, I shall be victorious. What is that thing that can stand if God is present in my life? Then number two, you pray that God's glory, you will be a carrier of it. You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be a carrier of that glory. And when you carry the glory, then something has to happen. The third, therefore, is we said you should prepare for it. Like you know that, okay, something awesome is coming. Therefore, this morning, everybody who has experienced glory changes, get ready to be delivered. Get ready for victory in your life. In the name of Jesus, you will have testimony. And you will see the hand of the Lord, the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you praise, will magnify you because you are God. You are awesome. You are glorious. You are powerful. Talisha Kaya. Rekoso kaya dabata, toro na dosi kere darata. Neketa boso ta yeneta runto roshe keta libro koso taliria. Ratu koso kaya rabaka talera dada. We magnify you because we are the people of God. We are the children of God. We are sons of God. We are daughters of God. We come before your throne this morning. We thank you because you are God. You walk in our life. Your hand is stretched. Your power is shown. Take the glory, take the praise, take the honor, take the adoration. Be glorified this morning. Tali zika yetata, shanteli rusu koyada. Natali talititi taraboko sayata. Rato sokata le brono setaya. We thank you for the glory of the past. We thank you for the things you have done. How you have stretched your hand. How you have proven yourself. How you have proven yourself. We thank you for... By your glory, you delivered us. Why? Right? By your glory, you saved us. <laughs> ah, when you came to this world, even the angels announced, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. For his Savior is born. 
We thank you for your glory. This morning, it is in your glory that we find our glory. It is in your glory that we find our glory. And so we declare and decree that somebody has been delivered this morning. Somebody has been freed this morning. Somebody is having testimony this morning in the name of Jesus. We're going to start this morning as we pray that God will make the glory of the Lord to be revealed and manifested in your life. We're going to pray this morning, and we're going to mention some people in the Bible. Circumstances, situations, challenges of life messed with their glory until they recovered it. So get ready because there shall be a recovery of your glory. Kakaka, pakoko, pete, kare, talozaki. Zalebo, tazika, ko, zombre. God is going to restore your glory, and he's going to give you testimony. In the name of Jesus, Vale Jobra Tekaya. In the Bible, in Second Kings chapter five, from verse one, there's a story of a man. His name was Naaman. He was powerful. He was a general in the army of Syria. The king of Aram had great admiration for Naaman, the commander of his army, from verse one. Because through him the Lord had given Aram great victories. But though Naaman was a mighty warrior, he suffered from leprosy. At this time, Aramean raiders had invaded the land of Israel, and among their captives was a young girl who had been given to Naaman's wife as a maid. One day the girl said to her mistress, I wish my master would go to see the prophet in Samaria. He will heal him of his leprosy. So this is a great man, an army general. He conquered nations, but he couldn't conquer leprosy. He conquered powerful nations, but he could not come out of this leprosy. Until the day a little girl in the house, don't overlook anyone. The Bible says God ordains wisdom in the mouth of babes. When you reach a place and there's a gate person who opened the door for you to enter to go see the managing director, you keep looking now at that man who opened the gate. One day he might be the one who opens bigger, greater, awesome, more powerful gates for you. Don't shoot wounded people. You may need them one day. Don't shoot wounded people because they are already wounded. So you thought you don't need them. You might need them one day. It was a man who was abandoned that told David where to find his enemies. When God told him to pursue, overtake, recover. This morning, there is someone at this platform. You are like Naaman. God wants to give you great conquests. But the thing that holds you down is sure is, is covering your glory. I'm sure Naaman had to wear clothes to cover the problem. This morning, as a servant of Jesus Christ, I lay hand on somebody here. I believe there is going to be recovery of glory. I just believe it. I just believe it. You've been through some things in this past maybe weeks, months, years. I hear in my spirit somebody has been through some year challenges in five, for five years. But that five-year issue will reverse this morning. 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 Tariba kota libra nasha, hika yera batali zunka. Tari koba kata tata rote kekeke. Rabati kato toliki andarabasa. We prophesy to your situation a revelation of glory, a revelation of glory. Every cloth, every shame, every leprosy. <laughs> leprosy in the Bible is a type and a shadow of sin. It's also a type and a shadow of a limitation. It's a type and a shadow of anything that can hold you back. They didn't have cures in Bible times. Even today, there are still leper, leper colonies. There's one I know when we went to Ghana somewhere in, uh, I think, Tamale. I'm not sure now. But there was a leprous colony. And then uh, I know that there are one or two in the country of Nigeria. I don't know of anywhere else. So that virus has still not been conquered in our world. But then... There is a spiritual leprosy, anything that limits you. Because when a person has leprosy, that virus is so terrible, it numbs your nervous system. That is the key problem of leprosy. It nerves 
it numbs your nervous system so when you are pressing your finger i'm pressing this finger now and i'm feeling the pain man you know what i'm saying you don't feel it until the finger breaks so leprosy doesn't cut off fingers but it is the fact that you don't feel anything that makes you to break your fingers nakata ta 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 anyone who has spiritual leprosy anything putting shame on you known and unknown the one people just see in the spirit and they don't like you records the kata tata we remove from today we remove from today anything that is limiting your your favor we remove from today anything limiting your life we remove from today anything removing limiting your glory we remove from today anything shutting you out of celebration we remove from today any private embarrassment satata rokate preketo roshika ranate rabosa ketapro runataka anything you have to enter your room and you cry over we remove from today ake kota rika nasi to bri natale she koka kazi rita kato so kata te kata rento renta reke sota ye nare no so kata le brokosa I lay hand on you this morning. Anything you are embarrassed about privately, financial embarrassment, physical embarrassment, emotional embarrassment, marital embarrassment, embarrassment regarding maybe marriage, whatever it is, God intervenes for you this morning. In the name of Jesus, your glory will rise. 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 He developed arrogance along with that leprosy. So when the girl told him where he'll be healed, go to the prophet, the prophet Elisha. He gets there, Elisha knew that he was arrogant and said, go and bathe in the river Jordan. Jordan means death. He was to go die in the Jordan. And he was to bathe seven times. Ah, he refused, wanted to go back to his hometown. Said the rivers of his country are better than Jordan river far power or something like that is better than jordan i'm going home and his servant said boss this man told you to only go and wash in the jordan if he had told you to bring one million dollars you gladly bring it just jump into that river seven times like he said ah anything that will hinder your glory we remove by the blood of the lamb today any arrogance any attitude any spiritual sin any physical sin any immorality that will hinder your glory will bring it under the blood we break its power over your life we break the grip of darkness over your life we speak progress we speak favor we speak testimony we speak glory we speak Rata to see from this day. A change is coming to your life. Change, 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 change. In the name of Jesus. 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 Be delivered from today. Be set free from today. Man went into the Jordan seven times and the man told him by the time he came out his flesh was like that of a newborn baby. He had a resurrection. God made him to be dead and to be buried seven times, to die to everything. By the time he came out the seventh time, he was a new person, which is a type and a shadow of what should happen when you get born again. You die and then you rise in Christ. Galatians 2.20 for I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but the life which I live by the, is by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This day I speak into somebody's life. They are trying to, they are trying to bury your glory. They are trying to hide your glory. They are trying to keep you. Leprosy of life. Ah! The leprosy of life is trying to limit your glory, but we pull you out of it. We pull you out of it. We pull you out of it. We pull you out of, you out of the leprosy of life. From this day, 
Nalishu kali, narita kuzi, maronte barande rose yaliba. Every leprosy of life. Trying to limit you. We deliver you from it. We set you free. 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 We lose you. We lose you. He was conquering in one area. But your private shame. There are many people like that. Blessed in one area, but another area is overlaid with trouble. If you're on this platform this morning, all round breakthrough, all round revelation of the glory you carry, anything changing your glory, we bring the blood against it today. 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 Yara posha keka te ko zomba le rata. Ola itaka. He was made to dip in the water seven times. You who's listening to me, I want you wherever you are to be screaming intense amen. I think I might say it seven times. I'm not very sure. Just as he was dipped in that water seven times, I dip you in the blood of Jesus. 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 Just as he was put inside that water and he came out the seventh time, totally healed, delivered his skin like that of a newborn baby. I dip you in the blood of Jesus. 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 Anything that is trying to hide your glory, children. Ah, today we set you free. We set you free. Great conqueror. The Bible says he had won great victories, but he suffered from leprosy. And sure when they invited him to parties, he couldn't go. To victory fanfares, he couldn't go. Ah! Anything that is a private embarrassment to your glory, anything that's trying to hide your glory, we remove by the blood of the Lamb, 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 by the blood of the Lamb. We remove! In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Naaman was made to dip in the water in the river called Death, Jordan. You know, people like to call their child Jordan. If it to you it means a good name, cool, but the Hebrew word means death. So the man dipped in death and rose the seventh time up from the grave. He arose with a mighty shout over his foes. Today, ah, your glory is rising again. Arise and shine. For your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Ah, after the dark season you've been through, your glory must rise. Your glory must rise. Riko toro teke ta 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 Rike koko siki ya ta ta raba kosota Ratu saki patu talima raba rono teleba This day I break you free From every trace of of leprosy Of the spirit and anything that is Embarrassing you And limiting you Embarrassing you And limiting you Embarrassing you And limiting you be free, be free, be free, be free. Leprosy makes you to live in a colony. Because till now, till now, the world have not conquered it just like cancer. And because it's now a disease of poor nations, nobody looks at it. But I want you to know, just as it is, as it is symbolic of the spirit realm, I speak into your life, Pakayotoria, Zilebo Sheka Yaradadado, Roka Setele Bakasheto Kapa Kasata. Somebody just sent me that it is still found in India, Brazil, Indonesia. Uh, more than half of it is diagnosed in India. Whoa, Jesus, 57%. Wherever. I will listen, for your case, it is actually the 
leprosy of the spirit a leprosy is anything that excludes you from the fullness of your destiny the fullness of your glory from this day anything that is of shame embarrassment anything satan wants to use to reduce the glory of your children the glory of your family will nullify by the blood of jesus he's fighting your destiny one of the reasons satan fights the destiny of believers is because he knows that when you shine the world gets to to be saved easily when believers prosper the world gets to be saved easily because we are going to use the money to glorify God you know I'm just thinking of the crusades I'm going to hold or the ones we held in Ghana I mean okay I'm not sure how much but probably about a million dollars with one of those will one of those crusades cost in Ghana and you see the thousands of the needy but you know what with their hardcore belief in their religion, when they came and you gave them, they want to receive your Christ. Because they see love, they see compassion. Now there are people loaded with those kind of money. They are not born again. Their eyes are not open. The Bible says the God of this world have darkened their eyes. But you are going to prosper. So you can sponsor the kingdom of God. And I'm speaking to your life today. Every leprosy of life that wants to hide your glory. We dip you in the blood of Jesus. 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 Your victory is here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The second person whose glory was hidden was a man who the times were terrible. The seasons were bad. And his mother looking at the season like Jewish mothers will do. She gave him a name that complicated his life. Rota Kikuzia Penetali, First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than all his than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 to 10. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, "Oh that you will bless me." expand my territory please be with me in all that i do keep me from all trouble and pain and god granted him his request two three things were hiding his glory he was from the tribe of judah his glory should not be hidden but there was famine there was difficulty and though he came from a descendants of 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 of, of dukes but it was just titled. There are some dukes in the United Kingdom now. If you meet them on the streets of London, you wouldn't even know. Their family has gone on hard times and broke. Broke. He came from a family of dukes. They've lost everything. Then when they lost everything and he was born at that time, his mother just said, what name am I going to call you? Am I going to call you uh, Matthew, which means gift of God? Or am I going to call you, uh, which other name in the Bible now? <laughs> I'm not going to call you Samuel, which is given by God. I'm not going to call you Nathaniel, which also means uh, gift of God, like Matthew. I'm not going to call you all those nice names, Emmanuel, God is with me. I'm going to call you Jabez. You're a child of pain. Ah. And all his life he was called a pain. And it became a prophetic word that held his destiny. Well, this morning, wherever you are, your glory must rise. Every evil name they give you, either in the neighborhood, or it is the name they give to you by the people around, today, as a servant of Jesus Christ, I take authority over that demonic name, over that satanic name, over that limitation they place on your life. I set you free. 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 I call on the God that Jabez called, the God of Jabez. 
He sets you free. Your glory rises. Your glory rises. Farming time shall not hinder your glory. Economic time shall not hinder your glory. Challenges of your nation shall not hinder your glory. Battles in the world. There's coming a massive inflation on the earth. The next two, three years, it will be like a car driving inside a very terrible bump. Go write it quickly. Go write it down quickly. Go write it down quickly. Whatever you can do with all those monies, you are stashing and shaving account. You are in trouble. Buy the things that can stand inflation. There's trouble coming. The next three years, the world will go through a, yeah, 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 a terrible bump. And I've been saying it for some years now. Well, some believers, you know, unless uh, BBC says it, oh, they don't listen. But this man was born in the middle of a famine. His mother gave him a bad name. Mm -hmm. Then he called on Jehovah who cannot be hindered by famine. This morning as a servant of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. I speak into your life. Every evil name they've ever called you. Every negative name they've ever called your family. Every negative word they've ever spoken into your life. As I speak into your life today, I nullify it with the blood of Jesus. I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. I nullify it with the blood of Jesus. I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. I nullify it with the blood of Jesus. Rabba kata yara kiso kebara tali roda shekeya rebo kozo ba kate ke koko za hitare ba rekata. Some of you is an uncle. I nullify it with the blood of Jesus. Some of you is a stepmother. I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. My father, my my father had to take on another wife when my mother, because of my mother's depression, and she was constantly back in the home country with her mother. And my father took another wife. I myself, I and my sister. I think we must be teenagers that time, 1965 to 66. Help us in the eye, as I, I will tell us, will never amount to anything. Never amount to anything. She slap us in the eye and tell us we'll never amount to anything. <laughs> I know she must be dead by now because she must she must be close to like 90 if she was alive and she wasn't that healthy. She never Ah look what the Lord has done. Her prophecy never came to pass. One day I was driving to go see Bishop Way Depot through the town she's from. Because we came there when we were on holiday one time. And boom, I had a deja vu because we were in front of the house, her father's house. Hey, the whole remembrance just came. I felt tempted to go in in my nice, what was I driving then? A Homer or a Lincoln Navigator? I felt tempted to drive to the house and say, where is uh, uh, the lady who lived here? Her name is blah, blah, blah. I just thought, no, not now, no need. God had done it. So this morning, wherever you are, I want you to know the name they called you because of the anointing that destroys the yoke. Isaiah 10, 27. Every negative name, whoever called you, a teacher, a friend, and they meant evil, and they had an intention that it to stick and hold you, I break it in the name that is above all names. You are not whom they say you are. You are whom God says you are. You are destiny. You are glorious. You are powerful. You are destiny. You are glorious. You are powerful. Destiny. You are glorious. You are powerful. You are destiny. You are glorious. You are powerful. You are destiny. You are glorious. You are powerful. In the name of Jesus. Tata kushotaya rika telebaroso. Oh, sometimes men can just be so silly. The day this woman will leave my dad, she went and reported him to the army because he had a bad fight. So the army said she should come into the house and take whatever belongs to her. And anything she points at is her own. She pointed at everything. That night it was just me and my dad in the house remaining. And we had to sleep on the bare floor. Jesus, man. <laughs> Following day, my dad went to sign for some army beds. <laughs> Ah, people don't people don't appreciate Jesus like you do because you've been through the valley. You've been through the valley of the shadow. We had to sleep on bare floor. I am my my dad, Mr. Salakwashimolo. My dad's a very proud man. 
Very proud man. If my dad walks, the man has such swagger even that time. <laughs> we had to sleep on the floor because of this strange woman he brought home. Jeez. But whatever prophecy she spoke has been nullified by the blood. So this morning, as a servant of Jesus Christ, I speak into your life. God is lifting you. God is blessing you. God is lifting you. God is blessing you. God is lifting you. I hope there's any no part of that story that I haven't told Pastor Yemsi or she's going to say, you didn't tell me that part. Because <laughs> I've told everything. I see victory in your house. If he's done it for others, he'll do yours. There's glory coming to your house. Then one day, the young man himself came to a knowing. He came to a eureka moment. He came to an apocalypse. The veil was removed because calypsis is when there's a veil. Apocalypse is when the veil is pushed back or when the cover is removed. Really, calypse is like when you put a veil. You can't have a curtain and a veil. If you, don't, if you are looking through the veil, there are things you don't see well. Then the veil is pushed aside. The veil was pushed aside. He then saw that God of possibility can do it. You are on this platform this morning. I speak into your life that the God of possibility is making a way, making a way, making a way, making a way. Listen to the prayer of Jabez. Because it's coming to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. It's, the Bible says, he prayed. Lord, I love the way the uh, New Living Translation puts it. It says, he was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. All others were going through it and they were writing songs about the tough times, difficult times. It's not an easy road. It's a difficult time. We're going to know Jabez just got tired of being tired and he prayed. Oh, that you would bless me, barak me. Empower is the meaning of barak. Abound, increase. This morning, wherever you are, Maliki Tondroka, when glory comes, there is a blessing. When glory comes, there is a shining. When glory comes, there is a lifting. Receive in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive this morning. He says, and expand my territory. Janoliti alika zelika tu. Karete nema kareto loza. May the Lord expand your territories on every side. Anyone who have found themselves in a tight place, I pull you out this morning. I pull you out of tight places. 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 Then it says, be with me in all I do. God will expand your territory from today. Lands, properties, houses are coming into your hand. He said, and expand my territory. Expand my territory. Listen. Some of us, our territories are so limited in our mind. Some of us, there's no devil fighting us. It's us. We've drawn this, this tiny, tiny territory in our mind. Your territories expand to the left, to the right. God increases you on every side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rakaba, Roteke, Ranosh, Rabesh, Kabosh. Every negative spoken into your life is cancelled. Every negative expectation of the wicked is cancelled. Wicked people. Waiting and hoping that you will never become anything. God will shame them. Oh, that you will bless me. Even his own mother called him pain. Can you imagine? Your name is bringer of trouble. Um, your name is pain. And you want to court a girl. And in those days, they don't bear a name like we bear now. We bear wood. We bear, we bear stone. We bear fish. <laughs> we bear spoon. With a spoon. <laughs> man, we be a tree. I know a good number of people whose name is Poor Man. Hey, Jesus, man. Poor Man. Hey, yeah, yeah. In Bible times, they don't bear those kind of names. They bear prophetic names. As the mothers pray, 
Kaito no kazi yendere ilo. You find that the Bible talk of uh, Hebrew, Hebrew, uh, what do they call women who help you give birth? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, when you are in labor, whatever, please, don't worry. Even those women too are praying, and they are praying. They, along with you, they give the name to the child. Because they were praying women. They were not just women who took your labor. So they gave him, I mean, everybody was given names prophetically, and it came to pass. Their names became their destiny. Azariah, God is great. Hananiah, who is, I mean, the favor of God. Mikhail, who is God but Jehovah? Then you threw these three men in fire. One said, God is great. The second one said, the favor of God. The third one said, who is God but God? Then you carry them and threw in the fire. So the God you called, they called them by, stood with them in the fire. Don't mind the Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego that Gentiles give them. This morning I prophesy into your life. You are expanding territories. You are increasing on every side. As you go to work today, businessmen and women on this platform, your territories are expanding. Some of you are buying properties. Some of you before December 21, 31 this year, God is expanding your territory in your mind. Your business is expanding. Young men and women on this platform, God is giving you tech startups, your own fintech, 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 your own fintech. Receive in the name of Jesus. Met a young man who told me the craziest, maybe I'll say it on Wealth Master, on Morning Glow. Somebody could run with it, even without teaching it on Wealth Master class yet. The one of the smartest, biggest way right now to be making money is for you to create payment platforms. You're helping these people to receive payments. And as their payments go through them to their bank and so on, trickles are dropping for you. Labor ka 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 ya tadaka. Because when the Bible says, bless me, they didn't mean you sit down, you keep singing, bless me. You ask for the idea. So young men and women on this platform receive your own your own idea. 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 Your own idea in the name of Jesus. From this day, testimony is coming upon you. God is doing something awesome. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makateko Zokaya. Rato Saka. Oh, that you will bless me. Expand my territory. Reka Koshikai. We remove the boundaries where the enemy have put it. Go and tell that young man the city I shall yet build. By reason, as for expansion. He said, shall be a city without wall, for the Lord will be a wall of fire around it, the book of Zechariah. Young man wanted to put boundaries and walls. <laughs> ah, morning glow is powerful. My testimony, let me share it with some of you right now. Put a wall around the land we had. And we were trying to apply for approvals for the estate before we now go to town to publicity. Only to find that because of intense prayer on morning glow. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. I didn't know God was about to expand my territory. I was getting offended by the physical planning consultants who were handling it for us. They kept saying your survey and, this, and the drone image we are seeing do not match. I did not know. We built a wall and cut out 21 plots belonging to us. Expand my territory. Expand my territory. And I shall come back with another testimony related to that. Just remind me. At the, at the end of today, something is happening today that will even expand it beyond that 21 plot that we cut it out with our own wall. So I went there with a the surveyor. He just showed me. You have approval, but some of your land approved is outside your wall. Man, 21. Expand my territory. In my head, every time I entered the place, I saw the largeness and the wall. I thought this is all. I was too excited. I didn't know it's not even enough. God was ready to bombard this morning. God expands your territory. Your glory will not be reduced. Your glory will not be reduced. Then he says, please, be with me in all that I do. 
May the Lord guide you. May the Lord lead you. May the Lord direct you. I was just embarrassed and shamed. When the Lord spoke to me to pray for people who have lost money in funny investment, all these turn it around, double your money kind of places. When I made the call, the number of people who came out in KRC in Nigeria, I was just embarrassed by the number. This morning, God will keep you out of trouble. I speak into your life again, God will keep you out of trouble. I say again, God will keep you out of trouble. He will be with you in all you do. Testimony will follow you. Today will be great. This week will be awesome. The doors will open. This month will be an awesome month. This year will be great. It's going to be the year of your testimony. No weapon formed against you prosperous. Mouths that rise against you in judgment are condemned. Shame comes on the enemy. Victory belongs to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God. Rekaba shatayaba kuzumrati. Rontaliba kasataye keko kozaba. I see your glory rising. 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 I see your glory. As the glory of the Lord rises in your life, you rise with it too. As the glory of the Lord shines, you shine too. As the glory of the Lord rises, you rise too. So shall it be. Jesus' name. Couple of announcements. Tonight, I'm going to be having evening glow. It's going to be a powerful time in the presence of the Lord. Don't miss it. If you have not joined us in fasting and prayer, you're going to learn the power of fasting. Fasting opens doors. Fasting shuts them out of devils. Fasting helps you to shut down so that you can focus. Fasting helps you to concentrate on your God. Christian fasting is not Hindu or Buddhist fasting. Buddhist fasting is to punish the flesh. We don't do that. We discipline, yes, the flesh in order for the spirit to focus. But they punish the flesh for the spirit to be free. Our spirit is already free. He that the sun sets free is free indeed. So we don't fast like other religions. We fast because it helps us to concentrate on our God. But then make sure you pray. Even if it's short prayers, even um, if you if you don't even have enough time in your spirit, be praying in the language of the Holy Spirit. It's gonna be awesome, 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 awesome. And guess what? The last seven days of the fasting and praying is gonna change to man infestation. Seven power days of mighty man infestation. Seven mighty manifestation. It's gonna be powerful. The seven days we're going to be holding meetings nightly in whole street. Nightly in whole street. In whole street. Healings, breakthroughs, financial miracles, testimonies, prophetic words spoken into your life. Nakataida. And one of the days I'm going to have my friend from Zambia, Bishop Imakando. Very. Uh, uh, mightily anointed man of god he is going to be a blessing ah, yeah, 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 yeah. i think it might just be the one of the days it's going to be one of the days you're gonna we're gonna have him mighty man not just a mighty man <laughs> his wife is a walking prayer machine so it's going to be a blessing with us one of the nights seven power pack days of mighty money fest is on <laughs> so don't miss it by any chance praise the lord praise the lord it will be great be awesome you'll be powerful so join us in this season wait on god then during the 10 the seven days and even you should start now write 10 things you want to testify about 10 things you want to testify about 10 things you want to testify about let it be something you can share praise the lord tomorrow all those who are on the wealth master class 
All those who are on the World Masterclass will be meeting for what we call Members Connect. This is a privilege of the members of the World Masterclass. They just meet that day to share stories, share testimonies, questions, and uh, there will be also answers on different things. How do I do my tax? How do I do my business? How do I separate my, my profit? How do I uh, know what money I can spend out of my business? How do I expand my business? How do I go beyond my local setting? It's going to be beautiful. Members connect tomorrow from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tomorrow for members. I'm talking about the Wealth Master Class on the 2nd of July. Women walking in wealth. Taking power steps that will rewrite your financial DNA. If you haven't done so, you got to realize many women are limited because they do not realize how society holds you down. Every culture, Western, Asian, African, all of them have habits of holding women when it comes to wealth creation. So it has become a foregone conclusion, not only the area of wealth. Can you believe some nations are only just beginning to grant women the right to drive? Are you for? Are you kidding? But then, you know, even in the Western Hemisphere, it was not until 1948 or thereabout that a man called Keir Hardy fought in the United Kingdom for women to be able to, to vote. 1948, if, I, if, my, if my history is correct, when I did Sociology of Britain. Forgive me if I'm wrong. You know, it's a long time. Women did not vote until the 1940s. Keir Hardy, a man who rose and fought for women also. Not until you know, then. Uh, until then, the suffragists, the women, were holding their own pressure groups before they were allowed to vote. So women ought to pro pro produce and, um, and provide wealth so they can make a difference. Yesterday, one of the most precious daughters God ever gave me. It was one year since she passed on to eternity. And a video of her came out. And the girl was making statements like, my vision in life is to build a hospital precisely just for women. Just like her dad, just like my vision. Yesterday was one year since she passed. Her name is Ibido Igodalu. And, and powerful. Really, it's one year or two years. Uh, I think it's one year. I think it's. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, one year. Or two years. Two years, two years, two years. So, that kind of vision. And she was a person who would raise money for women who could not give birth. The beautiful spent all her money for women who could not give birth and made many people of influence and wealth to give to it. So she paid for their, uh, for their operation. Couples who could not afford it, who had done, uh, what, oh, come on, come on. I don't want to say the wrong abbreviation. I don't want to say VIF. I know it's wrong. It's something else, something else. And she, she'll get 20, 30 people to be able to go to the hospital who could not afford it. Babies were born. And she wanted to go beyond that and have a hospital. You too can do so as a woman. Come to Wealth Masterclass Conference. I want to teach you how to create wealth. She was prosperous in what she did. Women walking in wealth. Women walking in wealth. It's time for you to live the life you have dreams of but you are too ashamed to tell people you should be able to go to restaurants once in a while and order something you've always wanted to have without looking at the price and you then begin to say this chicken for how much did you say this chicken is no 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 you have class god has put you are a woman of dignity come to women working in wealth, give yourself permission to dream. Watch the way you talk about your own goals. Do it with pride. We want to teach you how to do that. 
you have to come to women working in wealth register it will completely transform your life we're going to teach you principles that practically change your name you're going to stop all those statements like i dislike money and people who have it how can you dislike what you need people who say they dislike money and people who have it go and check them out then they have health issues they can't afford it they have they have other issues health issues and they can't afford it and then they die cheaply oh somebody has just sent you testimony good morning i was the one who got the word regarding a painful stiff neck yesterday yeah i saw the person i experienced tremendous relief after the word was given the healing has continued praise god thank you pastor wow that's awesome awesome yeah i saw the person the neck was painful. Thank God for healing. And it's going to be total victory as the Lord lives. In Jesus' name. But one day I shall be in KICC Toronto. So join me in Toronto. All those who live in the, in the Mississauga area. That's where KICC is. KICC Toronto is in the Mississauga area. May I give you assignment as a person on this platform. Go out of your way. Call all your friends in Toronto. Tell them to join us. Let's make it a Holy Ghost series. Holy Ghost revolution, revival, restoration, renewal. Hey, rejuvenation, re <laughs> release. Let it be a powerful time in Toronto. Let it be a blessed time in Toronto. Let it be healing, deliverances, glory to be released. Kappa Tosokai. Join me and tell your friends to be there. We'll also, we'll also, uh, if it does not conflict with Morning Glow, I mean, then no, no, it can't conflict with Morning Glow, 6.30 p.m. It's actually in the middle of the day. So maybe we'll also make sure we air it for those of you who want to watch uh, streaming or for those of you who want to watch and probably even have it recorded for those of you who couldn't catch up during that time. 6 30 in toronto maybe like your 1 30 wherever you are in uh, europe or africa as the case may be so please get on the line screen grab the details there send it to all your friends in toronto uh, tell them to spread the tidings round. god is going to move mightily in the name of jesus kabaro taliba in Italy, Tell them to get in touch with KRCC on those details online. <laughs> Just in case there's a change of venue, even if the venue becomes small. Uh, because the pastor was already saying, ah, from when we began to mention, looks like we're having people coming from our other provinces. Toronto, I mean, Canada uses provinces. So maybe others will come from the provinces. But nonetheless, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. If there's a change of venue, we'll let you know on time. Still like uh, almost a month. Yeah, a month minus one day. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What else announcement I haven't given you? Yes, I wore my IGOC shirt today for you to know. It is going to be absolutely awesome in this year's International Gathering of Champions, IGOC 2022. will be powerful. KRCC will be 30. IGOC will be 31. Because IGOC started before KRCC. Aladeisha, Pakaireta, Rekerota, Maradosin, Kantale, Broko, Sokaita, Libaranete, Lira, Baradoso, Yi. It will be powerful. All the speakers are confirmed. And they'll be ministering. It's going to be awesome. All the artists, the psalmists will be a blessing. We don't just have singers. These guys carry grace and anointing. Just one of them is enough. If you just had Todd Dulaney, it's enough. If you had Sinatch, it's enough. If you had one of our homeboys, Noel Robinson, it's enough. Or Muiwa. Ah, Nathaniel Bassi. I used to love to wake up one time. So Nathaniel Bassi, every 6.30 a.m. or 6 a.m., then morning glow came, and I couldn't keep that uh, pattern. Oh, you want to shake up? Uh, you want to shake the devil off? Uh, you need 
Chioma Jesus. With a name like Jesus, <laughs> the girl is too much. She'll be a blessing. Praise the Lord. So why don't you register for the schools of ministry? I tell you, sometimes Christians, they waste their money on things that don't matter. And the ones that matter, they, they overlook. On the 30th of June, registration will stop at 35 pounds. From July 1, it will be 35. So make sure you join us quickly. Take advantage. Take advantage. Nakazukuida. Zubrani Tilikojo. Zombrita. Riko Tabo. Kari Kito. Sibitali. Ronaba Kotaiba. Ka. Were you blessed this morning? May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his, make his face shine on you. Give you peace, bless your going out, bless your coming in, lift you up at all times. May the favor of the Lord never cease in your life. May the hand of the Lord never leave your life. May the glory of the Lord never leave your life. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 23, verse 2 and 3. He makes me lie down in green pastures beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. May the Lord establish the work of your hand in a lot of abundance. May you be divinely directed in the right things. May the Lord help you to generate a steady flow of favor, blessings into your life. I prophesy the struggle is over and your soul shall be at peace. He said he restores my soul. May your soul be at peace in this season of your life. In the name of Jesus, God bless you richly. Dio Fubenis. Dio Steven Diga. Dio Steven Soe. Buana Kubariki. Mwariba Kukumbrere. Womuzita Rajesu. Yamisha Wai. Nkulunkulu. Akufusesi. God bless you richly. Good morning. Saubona. Aiko. Limitless, IGOC 2022, August 24th through the 28th. There will be prophetic impartation and spirit-filled revival. Limitless, with host pastor Matthew Ishimaloo, Depot Oliomi, T.D. Jakes, Dr. Bill Winston, Dr. Mensah Otabil, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Pastor Biodom Fatoyimbo, and Pastor Jerry Ize. Live and in person at KICC Prayer City and E59QG during the 12 daytime school of ministry sessions and eight free evening revival sessions. Register now for only 35 pounds for the daytime school of ministry, in person or virtual attendance. IGOC 2022. Register at KICC.org.uk for no word from God will ever fail.